If you're a busy person who struggles to complete your workouts every week, but someone who wants to improve your pull-ups, then in this video, I will show you a way of structuring your training so that you can do it during the day. And this will, without a doubt, increase your number of pull-ups. So if that's you, let's get started. All right, guys, first of all, I am super excited to say that I have partnered with FitBeast. So this is a sponsored video, but more on that later. Now, the type of training that I want to introduce to you guys is called <clears throat> greasing the groove. The idea is that you choose a particular exercise you want to improve on and for the purpose of this video it will be the pull-up and then you do it as many times as possible during the day. This might sound counterintuitive but hear me out and also if you can't even do one single pull-up stay with me in this video because I will tell you a technique that will help you to get the first pull-up and beyond. Okay, greasing the groove is a term that was first coined by Pavel Tsatsoulin in his book Power to the People. In the book he talks about how important it is for the neurological groove to fire in certain sequence in intensity. I will leave a link to the book in the video description just in case you're interested. The book is a really good read. Okay, let me explain more about this neurological groove thing. When you lift a heavy weight, and it doesn't matter if it's your body weight or a pair of dumbbells, your muscles contract. That contraction begins when your nervous system sends a signal to your muscle fibers. And then when you perform a certain exercise over and over again, and the muscle fibers keep receiving that same signal from the brain, a more efficient neuromuscular motor pattern develops. This means that the nerve impulses move more quickly. So why is this important? It's important because the movement within the exercise becomes more natural. Your body finds it easier to perform the movement. For example, you don't have to think about walking because you have been walking for years, right? But also, more than just that, efficient neuromuscular motor patterns also lend the movement a more potent force. Listen to this. The faster the muscles contract when a signal hits them, the greater the number of muscle fibers that actually contract. So you combine faster muscle contraction with more fibers contracting and you're able to exert more force. So this is all you have to do really to become stronger. One way of getting stronger is by regularly doing strength exercises with lighter reps and weight, but doing them more often than you would a heavy workout. This teaches your muscles to fire more efficiently, or in other words, greases the groove. Cool, so how do we go about programming our grazing the groove pull-ups? What I recommend is that you guys have a pull-up bar that can be easily installed at home in a room that you use a lot. For example, your office or kitchen maybe. What I have here in my hands, is, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, is the Fitbeast pull-up bar. What I like about this bar the most is that one, it has a very affordable price. And second, the build quality is very good when compared to the price. Very comfortable on the hands, it has this foam here on where you hold it, very comfortable and it's rock solid. I had never had any issues of it sliding down when connected to the door. So I'm very happy using the Fitbit pull-up bar and I've been using the Fitbit pull-up bar for many weeks now doing my grazing the groove pull-up routine. So let's first learn how to install the Fitbit pull-up bar on the door and then we can discuss more about the grazing the groove pull-up program. In the box, you're gonna get, of course, the bar, the rotation stopping device, and also the base. The first thing you want to do is to connect the rotation stopping device into the bar. So you need to get the dents, as you can see here, the dents inwards, facing inwards to the bar, and you bring in it, you put it inside like this. Also, there is a black dot on this um, rotation stopping device that you need to make sure that in both sides, when you connect when you have the both devices connected this black dot is facing to the same direction on both sides okay so in my case here i'm facing upwards so you make sure that those those two devices are facing upwards the next thing we're going to do of course is connect the base into the bar now one thing again important to notice is that as you can see here i'm having the base in this vertical position and of course on the other side, you want the base to be also on, in the vertical position. So they are both in a vertical position like this, okay? So the next step now is to connect the bar on your door frame. Of course, you need to make sure that your door frame is a very solid frame, okay? So hold one, one side of the bar with your hand and the other one you use the, the rotation rod to tight 
the bar on the frame. Don't tighten it too much because what you want to do is to have a step back, step back and look if the bar is vertical to the ground. If it's not, fix it and make sure that it's, it's vertical. And then when you're happy, look at it again, then that's when you're gonna tie it. When you're done tightening and you know it's tight enough, just use the weight of your body to pull it down and to make sure that the bar is tight enough. So I can do a few little jumps here and I can see that the bar is not moving. So I'm comfortable that the bar is now secured. So, and the last step now is to, to bring the rotation stopping device into the bar and to connect it. And that's basically how we install the bar. Super simple and now you can start doing your pull-up. Great, and now that the bar is set up, we need to decide how we are going to go about with the training. There are many ways you can approach the structure of your training. For example, you can do a every hour on the hour program. So this means that every hour you will do four pull-ups and you do that throughout the entire day. As many sets as possible, as long as you don't get fatigued. You don't ever want to be fatigued when doing the grazing the groove. The moment you're tired, that's where you know it's your limit and you should stop. And that's the max set that you want to be accomplishing during the day. Or if you prefer a little bit less structure than that, then you can have a rule like, for example, every time I walk past this door, I will do four pull-ups. And you do that again during the entire day. So for me, I have the Fitbit pull-up bar on my office door. Every time I need to go to the toilet or to the kitchen, I first do my pull-up set and I'm managing 10 sets per day right now. My plan is to keep those 10 sets, but to increase the number of reps within each set. And another question you might have is how many pull-ups should I start? I recommend you to start conservatively with 40% max rep. So let's say you can do 10 pull-ups with perfect form. So you will do four pull-ups in each set. And then slowly, with every new week, you progress to five pull-ups, that's 50% max rep, and etc. And another very important point is to focus on perfection. Greasing the groove is how we practice the skill of strength. And as we know, practice doesn't make perfect, perfect practice does. So you want to program the movement into your neuromuscular system as perfectly as possible. So in this case, you do a strict control pull-up. Now, what if you can't even do one single pull-up? That's okay, you can still do the grazing the groove method that I explained in this video, but we're gonna change a little bit on how you're gonna approach your pull-ups using the Fitbit pull-up bar. What you're going to do is jumping pull-ups. Very simple, look what I'm gonna do. Position yourself on the bar and you're gonna jump. Jump and stop yourself at the top part and very slowly and controlled, bring yourself down. This is called eccentric training or negative training. And what you're doing here is firing up your muscles, training your muscles and the connection between the muscles to your brain to fire up properly. This neuromuscular connection is very important as I explained in the beginning of the video. So for you who can't do a single pull up, you're going to try to do as many sets throughout the day and you're going to start with just one pull up and you're going to try to do as controlled and as slowly as, as possible. So let's do this guys. If you commit to grazing the groove, do it for four weeks, then come back to this video at the end of those four weeks and let me know how many pull-ups more you were able to achieve. Sounds good? And check it out. On screen right now, I have my follow along full body weight workout that you can easily do at home with barely any equipment. So let's bring our Fit Beast pull-up bar to that next video and build some muscle. I will see you there, legends.